Alright guys, so I'm going to attempt to make a short tutorial for you guys today, tonight. Um, so I'm doing the C101 uh, connector swap um, for the M50 swap on the E30. So it may seem daunting to some people who've never done this type of wiring or any kind of electrical work or anything like that. So don't be afraid. It's really, really simple. So all there is is there's 10 wires that you need to uh, swap over. I just typed this up and printed it off from, um, I forget what the website was, but there's like 10 of them spread out through the internet, um, wiring charts for the M50 swap for the E30. Uh, it's basically universal for the M50, M52, M50, I don't know about M54, but uh, there might be a couple of added wires that need to be uh, included in the list, but this is just for the M50. So. Uh, I was able to cut off a few of the wires that I'm not going to be using. As you can see, I left the long ones uh, as the ones I'm going to be splicing in. So, all you really need is just some dikes, some wire strippers. These are really good. They're Harbor Freight for like 15 bucks. Uh, just cut and splice all in one, one motion. And butt connectors and heat shrink. That's really important if you want it to last a long time. You don't want any moisture to get in there. So uh, heat shrink and I, you need a heat gun as well, but I don't have that with me right now. It's in the other shed. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so got all the wires stripped and uh, we're ready to move on to the next step, which is I'm going to be taping each wire and uh, its corresponding wire on the M50 uh, engine harness. And what I'm going to do is put some tape on it and write a number on each one. And it's going to be the same number for each corresponding wire like say this wire is pin I don't know let's say this is pin 7 and it goes to pin 15 on the other harness so I'm gonna write a 1 on this and a, and a 1 on pin 15 uh, if that makes any sense so let's go over here turn my flash on oh yeah look at that oil that's from the other engine the old one so uh... stop blinking sorry about the blinking that's weird Anyway, as you can see, maybe, hopefully, there are numbers on, yeah, you can barely see that, maybe. There's numbers on the back of this connector. I've already peeled back the insulation there. So, uh, that's four, five, uh, I'm trying to read it on the camera, that's hard. Okay, yeah, three, one on the top going uh, counterclockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Basically, you're going to take this chart here. Okay, so the alternator blue wire goes to 25. I'm not worried about the colors, just the pins, because I don't know what the fuck Azul means. But, alright, so this is pin number 1 for the alternator. This is going to pin number 25. So what I'm going to do is locate pin number 25, which is probably in the middle. You can't really see it. And, uh... Yeah, okay, so it's this blue wire right there. That blue wire right there. So that's going to the alternator number one. So that's our first step. I'm going to tape that wire up, write a one on this, and a one on that. Not worrying about these numbers here. Uh, just That's just to locate the pins. So I'm going to write a one on the tape here, put tape on that, and write a number one on it. And that's how I know these two wires are going to... Uh, connect to each other. The reason I'm not just going to cut this off and then number them up, th you know, this way, I'm going to do that while it's still connected to the harness is because there's a lot of these wires that are very similar. And on the ECU, I didn't know this until I took this off, there's two wires coming out of the ECU pin, if you can see that, that go, uh, two wires that go to the same pin for the ECU. So, I was having trouble. I was like, why is there 18 wires and there's only 17 pins? That's why. I don't want to run into a problem like that and have an extra wire and not know where it goes. So I'm going to leave this connected for now, uh, tape them up, name, number them, and then once I have them all numbered and I've verified everything two or three times, then I'm going to cut it off and start splicing them together. So that's how it's going on. I'm going to start numbering and get back to y'all. Okay, so I put the first duct piece of duct tape on here and I changed my mind. There's no reason for me to put duct tape and number these because I can look down and see the pin numbers on there. You can't see them, but guess what? Oh yeah, you can. Anyway, there's no reason for me to put duct tape on these. All I'm going to do is duct tape and number these here um, with the pins they go to. So I'm not just going to go one, two, three, four wires. I'm going to go 
uh, one, two, four, five, seven, eight, etc. So change of plans, trial and error. Um, that's how it's gonna go. I'm only numbering the uncut wires over there. Here we go. Okay, so the other connector is fully cut off. Never using that again. And I'm finished with my list here. Uh, I'm only using eight of these actually. I'm not using the uh, service interval number 11 or the econ econometer. I guess that's how you say it. Anyway, so here's what we got. We got eight wires here. These are the wires I'm not using. It's kind of unsettling how many are not being used, but honestly, I know that's what I need. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, splice those or strip those and then splice these into it and then uh, that's gonna be it. Alright, so this is what we got now. Got all of my butt connectors on. Um, I always forget to do this. Uh, put the heat shield or the uh, shrink wrap on before the butt connectors and before I connect them together. Um, but yeah, everything's all good. I got eight wires. So there's these two wires from pin number seven. I don't know if I explained this before, but uh, it's for the ECU pin and the small wire uh, is for the coil the ignition coil so the ignition coil gets power when the ECU turns on which is when you turn the key on without starting it so uh, those go together in the same splice or in the same connector so basically it's just going to tie together into one wire on the other side um, it is just one wire on the um, on this connector here getting ready to put it on these bad boys here so like I said there's there was a whole bunch of wires here I put some heat shrink wrap or get some heat shrink on it and uh, taped it up a little bit and I got my eight wires here that are gonna go right here so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out and get back to y'all show you the finished product alright guys here's what we got finished product pretty much it's a little paint on there but that's all good so we got I think eight uh, wires crimped out here's the ones that I did not use a couple more in there I don't want to pull on them if I don't know exactly what they are but yeah that's all the wires I didn't use from the uh, on the harness what I'm trying to do now is pull this uh, boot back over on these but actually before I do that I'm gonna Jesus Christ <laughs> I don't know why I put these on because I can't go over these. But uh, these are heat shrink anyway, so it's all good. I'm just going to heat shrink those. And then uh, try to pull this over this so it looks really clean. I'm still going to have a bunch of wires coming down, about down to, well, actually it might be all the way showing here, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it's done and it should run. I did everything double checked everything triple checked all my connections and and I did the butts they're all tight I tugged on them on both sides and they're all tight they're all good so I'm gonna heat shrink these and uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night so if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to keep uh, seeing more of this M50 swap subscribe click the bell and there's gonna be a lot more videos to come as you can see this engine bay is uh, very empty and there's an engine that needs to go in it so I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one.